look at that ugly mug. I am, and I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My X-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But you need all seven keys to open it up. I'm on it. What? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and... <laughs> and... and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick! Hey, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow! You're a Cooper? You know, that thing is Rakamagookas had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why, <laughs> what, are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! <laughs>
is impossible. A little pipsqueak like you, beating a big strong bruiser like me? It ain't right. You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. And then believe you me, you don't want to be you. Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the Old West. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission.